So guys, check out what just popped up in the mail. Today is Monday. You're uh, watching the video right now, probably. If you watch the videos, you're watching the one where we started this thing and you'll notice we only had the two mounts. The completely stopped one is on this side and we got the Jack Spain racing mount in the rear. Now we didn't have a way to mount the mount on this side yet but what i'm hoping right now and we're gonna find out right now what i'm hoping guys is that this thing will fit both the mount from jack spaniel as well as bolt into the car and if this works then we'll have the driver's side figured out and that will allow us to be able to uh, do the first drive this is very important. So if this will fit into here, okay. Okay, step one. Step one, it fits in the bracket. Okay, that's a good sign. So let's move to the engine bay and we're gonna try to mount the bracket where the stock mount is. And hopefully with that there, we can align this bracket to the engine and guys, we should be good as far as the engine being mounted in the car. All right, guys, so got the mount in. Everything seems to work pretty good. Again, the pedal steering isn't bolted, so it's just hanging there. And I gotta figure out what I did with the two bolts for this, these two, but I did find the third bolt right here. So I gotta figure out if I can't find them, I'm just gonna buy some new ones anyway. And uh, I think it'll look nicer, but yeah ebay bracket is in i did have to modify just a little bit where the power steering reservoir sits it kind of touched that so i had to take a little bit of metal off just to get that clearance there but uh yeah the, the engine is mounted bro honestly guys if you can't tell i'm excited as fuck about this car Got the cruise control mounted again. We got the power steering is all mounted. Got the belt on that. Got the slave cylinder remounted. Got the cape, like the uh, line for the slave cylinder for the clutch mounted back here on this factory bracket. 
And uh, yeah, we're making progress, guys. I went ahead and hooked this AC line up to the compressor. I just got to throw the condenser in and hook the other line up to that fitting there and that fitting on the compressor. And um, that the AC will be done. And then we can move over, get the radiator put in, and that should be it. So we've made a little more progress guys. We got the little valve thing that turns your heat on and off. We got that off. And these things get really brittle guys over time. So um, they are prone to cracking and breaking up. This end right here was already broke. This was the end I was trying to get the uh, hose to stay on long enough for us to do that first drive we did with the car. But this end, actually, you can see how it just broke apart from me just trying to get the hose off of it. So, yeah, these are plastic. They take extreme heat, and over time, it just becomes extremely brittle and can fall apart. But luckily, I don't think this part costs a whole lot of money. So, Guys, the Jack Spaniel passenger mount should be here tomorrow as well. So... We're gonna just continue this video on and uh, try to get all of that. I don't think I'm gonna worry about that mount until after we do this first drive. I can do the mount later, but tomorrow is Thursday, guys, and I have to try to get this thing drivable tomorrow and hopefully drive it tomorrow. Fingers crossed. <music> Thank you. 
<laughs> this shit is so quiet. That's crazy. This is super sketch. Like we are strictly running off battery power. Like the headlights are so dim. Like, this is crazy, man. <laughs> Damn gas pedal slipped off. But guys, it feels pretty damn good. It feels pretty good. I have no windshield wipers. Oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> no windshield wipers. Dingy ass headlights. And I know. Okay, where's the driveway at? And we done start again, shit. I know a lot of people gonna talk shit because this is not the best first drive video, but uh, hey, we're making it right on back to the shop. And we're coasting and we're coasting. And we're back in here, boys. <laughs> oh boy. Shit, that was sketch, but we did what we had to do, right? <laughs> yeah, I lost um, I lost my throttle cable again. I gotta figure out why it keeps popping off, like from the pedal down here. But other than that, I mean, Yeah, guys, aside from the throttle cable and me not having a charge cable on this thing, I gotta say it, it's driving pretty freaking good. So what I gotta look into, guys, is the temp gauge does not seem to wanna work. Um, so I didn't, keep, I didn't keep the car running and trying to bleed it for too long because I wasn't sure if the car was was getting to operating temperature or if it was like trying to run hot. Um, I mean, the, the cooler never bubbled or anything crazy like that. So I don't think it got like crazy hot. I just wish I knew why that uh, temp sensor isn't working. And I wonder if it could be possibly because the alternator's not charging. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's why, or maybe I need more grounding um not exactly sure about that but i gotta work on that a little bit also uh you notice i only put one of the radiator hoses on and that's this unit right here honestly guys i wish i would have opened about the box way earlier before i even put the engine in i did not think it came with like all these little hoses but it actually comes with every hose for the d-series so 
super cool of uh, Matt Speed and Rise to hook us up with that. Link is always in the description, guys. Go check them out, support the channel. But I left the stock hoses here for the simple fact I want to do an aluminum radiator in this thing. No, it probably doesn't need it, but I think it'll just clean up this section a lot better than having this OEM plastic one here. So I think we'll probably end up just grabbing an eBay aluminum one, slapping that in here. And uh, when we do that, we'll do the hoses as well. And that'll clean that section up some more. We also need to install the new Jack Spanier mount. I did put a story up on, uh, on, on YouTube showing you guys because one guy, and I appreciate everybody that has input on stuff that we're working on and stuff, I really do. I encourage everybody to leave comments uh, and let me know their thoughts on everything I'm doing. But um, one guy left a comment and said that the mount I had was supposed to go on the frame rail, but um, I would have I would have figured that out eventually. But it, it that wasn't the case, guys. It was the complete wrong mount. So this right here again, huge huge shout out to Jack Spaniard. My guy, literally, I just asked him and he'll just like hook me up with pretty much anything we need. So check Jack Spanier out. And if you do decide to purchase something from him, use code DFSquad at checkout. That will save you some money. And that'll also let him know that uh, you guys are going to him from my channel. So that'll uh, really make him want to help me out. And, and I think, guys, honestly, that's my guy when I get ready to do the case swap in this thing, that is gonna be the guy. He has a full kit, um, mounts, headers, like he has all of that type of stuff for K-Series. So I am definitely gonna go with him and we're gonna put together a beast of a car eventually. So go show him some love, man, and tell him I sent you. But this is the correct mount for the frame rail. So if you look here, that top boat, right there lines up perfectly with this one and there's two bolts at the bottom that's kind of offset just like that and that'll put this mount right in the bracket there and this is the correct mount and then the mount that y'all were telling me or the guy told me i should be using is this one down here and this is like a typical mount you would use for like an eg this goes directly down onto the transmission and then this side here a bolt to the eg uh on the frame so this is the incorrect one. Guys, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Please leave a like for me, man. You guys have been killing the EK content videos. I am super happy for that. I'm super humble for that. So uh, yeah, if you could, drop your comments and thoughts down below. I will catch y'all next time. Remember guys, respect our bills. Peace out.